Hello, good morning, students. Today we have arranged MCQ revision session for unit number two of the Electronics One paper. So, as you know that uh, Electronics One paper, in Electronics One paper we have unit number two, which is based on sensors, transducers, and actuators. So, uh, we have already seen all these concepts in unit number two. I have already shared the videos of unit number two in. Uh, College app. So today we are going to take the revision for objective type of questions and their answers, explanation for the same on sensors, transducers, and actuators. Okay. So for every question, if you know the answer for that particular question, you can type your answer in chat box. If you have any query, you can type in chat box. Uh, if you want to explain that question, you can type in the chat box. So let's start with the session. So question number one is thin film deposition techniques used for thin film sensor are options are chemical vapor deposition, butter deposition, scanning tunneling microscopy. All of the other. If you have, if you know the answer for the same, you can type in the chat box. Please type answer in the chat box. So we have discussed thin film and thick film sensors in unit number two, and uh, you have to identify which are the thin film deposition techniques. For thin film sensors. Okay, so one answer I got from Samruti that is answer B. Okay. Any other want to try? One more I got from Avish that is A and B. Okay. So now we will go for the answer. So answer for the given question is A and B. So chemical vapor deposition and sputter deposition, these are the techniques that we are using for thin film sensor. Okay. Uh, scanning tunneling microscopy, this technique is used for thick film sensor. Okay. So now we will go for question number two. Dash dash sensors do not need external power supply for their operation. The options are active and passive. So what is the answer? Dash dash sensors do not need external power supply for their operation. The options are active and passive. Yes, I got answer from Pradnya, which is option A. Okay. So I got answers from Amrita, Gayatri, Avi, Sandhuti. Yes, the option A is correct. Right. So answer for this question is A. As you know that there are two types of sensors, active and passive. Active sensors do not need any external power supply for their operation. But passive sensors need... Uh, some external power supply for their operation. Okay, so now we will move on to the next question. The question number three is electrical sensors are now from the given list you have to identify which are electrical sensors. Okay, galvanometer, LDR. That is light dependent register. Then we have LED and we have solar cell. So these are the four options given for you. You have to identify which is the electrical sensor. Okay. So can you tell me the answer for the same? Electrical sensor means what? Uh, you should get the output of that sensor in the electrical form, in the form of voltage or current, right? So, can you identify the electrical sensors from the given 
list yes i got the answers from amrita avid gayatri pratnya sanjita that is the answer is b and d which is correct so answer for this question is b and d so ldr and solar cell these are the examples of electrical sensor which are giving the output in the form of electrical quantity that is in terms of voltage or current now we will go for next question the output produced per unit change in the input quantity it is measured as so see we have seen already the parameters or characteristics of sensors okay so this is one of the parameters or characteristic of sensor so output produce per unit change in the input quantity major is called as what is that parameter the list given is range sensitivity linearity and resolution so which parameter or which characteristic is output produce per unit change in the input quantity major so what is the answer yes can you tell me the answer yes i got one answer yes the option b which is very correct right so sensitivity is one of the parameter in which we can say that the output produced per unit change in the input quantity is major right very correct now the next question is dash dash converts energy into motion in this unit we have seen the concept of sensor transducer and actuator so one definition is asked to you here that is dash dash converts energy into motion the options are actuator then we have sensor switch and last is transistor the options are actuator sensor switch and transistor so tell me so tell me answer for the same yes the answer is a very good correct so actuator it, it you know it means that it converts energy into motion okay the answer is a now we have seen the concept of smart sensor in unit number 2 and we have seen the advantages for the same now the next question is based on the same advantages of smart sensor are reduced wiring cost then we have reduces startup time easy to expand the system and the option d is all of the above okay so these are the options given to you so can you tell me the answer from the given list you have to identify which are the advantages of smart sensor yes option d is correct all of the above as we have studied the concept of smart sensor uh, in that concept we have seen in case of a smart sensor uh, the wiring cost is reduced the startup time is reduced also it is very easy to expand that particular system okay so answer is all of the above correct now we will move for next question lvdt okay so linear variable differential transformer or transducer it is a type of sensor so lvdt is dash dash type of sensor the options are light displacement temperature and pressure we have seen different types of sensors in this unit and uh, we have the concept of lvdt that is linear variable differential transformer or transducer okay so you have to identify that type of sensor 
What is that? Can you tell me the answer? Yes. I got the answer in chat box. That is displacement. The answer B is correct. LBDT is displacement type of sensor. Right. Now, we will move for the next question. Uh, in case of a temperature sensor, we have two types of uh, sensors. Or we have various types like thermistor, thermocouple, then LM35 ICV have, AD590 ICV have, uh, which can measure the temperature. Okay. Now, this question is related with thermistor. Temperature measurement range of thermistor is minus 100 to 300 degrees Celsius, 50 to 150 degrees Celsius, minus 100 to 500 degrees Celsius, minus 55 to 150 degrees Celsius. So from this, these options, you have to select one correct answer. So what is the temperature measurement range of thermistor? Thermistor is a temperature type of sensor and you have to identify the measurement range for the thing. So what is the answer? Yes. I got answer in chat box that is A which is correct. In case of a thermistor we have range from minus 100 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. Right. So, answer for the question number 8 is A. Now, we will move for the next question. We have seen the concept of CCD sensor and CMOS sensor in unit number 2. And... Uh, we have seen the comparison of these both sensors. So, so question is, CCD sensors are dash dash than CMOS sensors. The options are expensive, cheap. So what is the answer for this question? CCD sensors are expensive or cheap than CMOS sensor that you have to identify yes from many students I got the answer A which is correct so CCD sensors are expensive than CMOS sensor. It is the correct answer. Now, the question number 10 is Rotor is dash dash part of DC motor. We have seen the concept of DC motor, paper motor in unit number 2, and we have seen the different parts of DC motor. So, stator, rotor, these are the parts of DC motor. Right? So the question is, rotor is a dash dash part of DC motor. The options are stationary, rotating. So whether the rotor is stationary or rotating, that you have to tell. Yes, I got one answer that is from some reason, rotating. Okay, waiting for some more answers. Answer B is given by many students, which is correct. Rotor is a rotating part of DC motor. Okay, and stator is stationary part of DC motor. Correct. Now we will go for the next question. For motion detection, dash dash sensor is used. So the list of sensor is LVDT, solar cell, PIR, and tilt sensor. So from these sensors, you have to identify which sensor is used for motion detection. So 
to tell me your answer. Out of these given sensors, which sensor is used for motion detection? Yes, I got the answer that is option C, which is PIR sensor. This is correct answer. PIR sensor, it is used for motion detection. Can you type the long form of PIR sensor in chat box? What is PIR? The answer is C, which is PIR sensor, which is very correct. Can you tell me the long form of PIR? You can type in chat box. Can you tell me the long form of PIR? Yes, I got one answer from Vaibhavi that is passive infrared, which is correct. So passive infrared sensor it is one of the sensor which is used to detect the motion of human being or animal in the given area, right? Correct. So passive infrared sensor is the long form of PIR sensor. Now we will go for next. In sonar system, dash dash sensor is used. So let me tell you what we mean by sonar. Sonar is nothing but Sound navigation and ranging. Sound navigation and ranging system is called as sonar. So in sonar system, which sensor is used? That you have to guess from the given list. The list is space sensor, LDR, then we have PIR, and the last is ultrasonic sensor. So from the given sensor, you have to identify which sensor is used in sonar system? Sonar is sound navigation and ranging. Yes, what is the answer for this question? Yes, I got many answers. So, answer is B. It is given by many students, which is correct answer. Ultrasonic sensor is used in sonar system, and uh, we can detect the distance of the object in the water by using this system where we are using ultrasonic sensor. Right. Now we will go for next. In thermistor. If resistance decreases with increase in temperature, then it has options are PTC, next is TTC, then we have MTC, and the last option is NTC. In case of a thermistor, you know that uh, the input is temperature and the output is resistance. With the change in temperature, the resistance will change, right? So, the question is, in thermistor, if resistance decreases with increase in temperature, then it has which type of coefficient, whether it is PTC, EDC, MTC or NTC? Yes, I got the answer in chat box that is D, that is NTC, which is negative temperature coefficient. This is correct answer. So the answer is D. Negative temperature coefficient. Very good. Now we will go for next question. In LVDT, when four is at center, the differential voltage is low, high, zero, and medium. In case of a LVDT, when the core is at center, 
what is the value of differential voltage whether it is low or high or zero or medium that you have to get here in case of lbdt you know that we are using magnetic core or rod which we are moving to the right side or left side or we can keep it as center and for that particular position we have to measure the differential voltage so here the question is then core is at center what is the value of differential voltage yes i got the answer that is answer is c which is correct in case of lvdt when core is at center the differential voltage is always zero which is right now the next question is the output of field sensor is dash dash which varies with angular moment the options are electrical signal light current and differential voltage so in case of a field sensor Field sensor is also called as field switch, right? So, in case of a field sensor, the output is what? That is the question, which is varying with the angular moment. The output, whether it is electrical signal, or light, or current, or differential voltage. So, what is the answer for question number fifteen? Yes, tell me the answer for question number fifteen. Yes, I got A answer from four students, many students, and one student is saying that C. Okay, so let's cross check the answer, which is answer A, which is correct. In case of a tail sensor, the output is electrical signal, and it varies with the angular moment. Now the next question is: Seymour sensor produces dash dash noise than PCB sensor. So we have already seen the comparison of Seymour sensor and PCB sensor in unit number two. So the question is: Seymour sensor produces dash dash noise than PCB sensor. Options are two options are there: less or more. So whether it is producing less noise or more noise, that. You have to tell me. So, what is the answer for question number fifty? We have compared the most and the most sensors on the on the basis of many parameters. We have seen applications for the same. So here your question is: Seymour sensor is producing less noise or more noise than PCB sensor? Okay, I'm getting answer for this question, which is B, which is very correct. And uh, Seymour sensor are producing more noise than PCB sensor. So this is this advantage of Seymour sensor. We have seen that is it is producing more noise. Okay, now we will move to the next question. You have to guess the examples of active sensors from the given list. So the question is: examples of active sensor are thermocouple, piezoelectric crystal, solar cell. And area from the given list, you have to identify which are the active sensors. The 
options are thermocouple, piezoelectric crystal, solar cell, and LDR. Please tell me the answer for the same from the given list which are the active sensors. So I am getting the answer A, B and C. Okay. okay. So A, B and C which is correct answer for this question. Thermocouple, piezoelectric crystal and solar cell are the examples of active sensor. LDR is the example of passive sensor. So now we will move for next question. The question is output of LDR is current voltage resistance or light. Four options are given for this question. The output of LDR is current voltage resistance or light. Here the question is asked about output. What is the output of light dependent resistor? Yes, tell me the answer for the question number 18. Output of LDR is light, it is falling on LDR. Now we will go for next one. The question number 19 is molecular switch is the example of dash dash sensor. The options are temperature, motion, light. And nano. Molecular switch is one of the sensor. And the question asked is what is the type of that molecular switch sensor? Whether it is temperature or motion, light or nano. Yes. The answer I am getting that is nano from many students. That is option D, which is correct answer. So in the uh, unit number 2 we have seen the concept of nano sensor and molecular switch is a type of nano sensor. Now question number 2 is a small problem is asked to you which is based on ICLM35. We know that ICLM35 is a temperature sensor IC. The question is what will be output of ICL M35 at 55 degrees Celsius? Let me repeat the question. What will be output of ICL M35 at 55 degrees Celsius? So at the temperature 55 degrees Celsius, the output of LM35 is asked to you. So you should know the formula for output voltage of ICL M35. So, the options for the given question are 0 0.44 volt, 0 0.11 volt, 0 0.21 volt, and the last option is 0 0.55 volt. If you know the formula for the output voltage of ICLM35, then you can calculate the answer very easily. So, what is the answer? For question number 20. Yes. The answer is 0 0.55. The option B is correct here. So can you type uh, the formula of output voltage in the chat box? What is the value of or what is the formula of output voltage of ICLM35? Yes. 
which formula you have used to calculate the output voltage? Can you type in chat box? Okay. So I got the answers from the CIA three array that is V out is equal to zero point zero one into T, which is correct. Right. So now we will move for next question. Dash dash is a type of image sensor. CCD, LCD, CMOS, and PIR. From the given list of sensors or names, you have to identify which one is image sensor. Yes, what is the answer for question number 21? Yes, many students are saying A and C, which is correct answer. So, CCD and CMOS, both are image type of sensor. Correct. Very good. Now, we will go for next question. We have seen the concept of transducer in unit number 2. The question is, function of transducer is to convert four options are given electrical signal into non electrical quantity the second option is non electrical quantity into electrical signal third option is electrical signal into mechanical quantity and the last option is all of these so you have to identify the function of transducer very correctly from the given four options please tell me the function of transducer yes i got some answers in chat box that is answer b which is correct answer so in case of a transducer the non-electrical quantity is converted into electrical signal. Now the question number 26. The thermistor is a transducer. Its temperature coefficient is positive or negative 0 and the last option is none of these. Whether the temperature coefficient of thermistor is positive or negative or zero or none of the above. That you have to you have to write the correct answer in chat box. In general, what is the temperature coefficient of thermistor? Yes, I got the answer negative. That is correct. So option B is correct for the question number 23. In general, the temperature coefficient of thermistor is negative. Now the next question is, smallest change which a sensor can detect is resolution, accuracy, range, none of the other. Now, again, this question is based on parameter or characteristic of sensor. You have to identify the correct parameter from the given list. The smallest change the sensor can detect is whether it is resolution or accuracy or range or none of the other. Yes. Some students are saying the answer is A. One student is saying the answer is B. Okay, we will check the answer. The answer is A. Resolution is the parameter or characteristic of sensor 
what is that characteristic smallest change that we can detect using the evolution definition or concept. Now the next question, question number 25 is related with operation of LVBT. The question is what is the principle of operation of LVBT? The options are mutual inductance, self-inductance, reluctance, permanence. So based on which principle the LVDT is performing its operation. That is the question. Which principle is used to perform the operation of LVDT? Whether the principle of mutual inductance or self-inductance or reluctance or permanence. What is the correct answer? Yes, I got the answer A in the chat box, which is, which is correct. We are using the principle of mutual inductance in case of a LVDT. Now the next question is, the sensor which is used to measure the orientation or inclination of an instrument with respect to gravity is Options are LDR, LVDT, PIN, and PIR. So, which sensor is used to measure the orientation or inclination? Yes, please tell me the answer for the given question. Yes, the answer is C, which I got in the chat box from many students. So, answer is C, which is correct. Field sensor we are using to measure the orientation or inclination of the instrument. Very good, correct. Now, we will go for question number 27. Again, it is related with the characteristics or parameter of a sensor. The question is, degree of reproducibility of a measurement by a sensor is called as range, sensitivity, pan or precision. Now, from the given list of parameters, you have to identify which parameter is used to measure the degree of reproducibility. So, what is the answer for this question? I got the answer D in the chat box, which is correct. So, precision is one of the parameters which is used to measure the degree of reproducibility of the measurement by a sensor. Now, the next question is self generating type of transducers are active or passive. What is the another name for self generating type of transducers? Whether they are active or they are passive. What is the answer for the, this question? Some more options are also given here, secondary and involved. So, uh, you have to guess the 
its name that is self generating type of transistors are also called as active or passive or secondary or inverse yes i got the answer as a which is correct so as the name given self generating it is a type of active transistor or self The next question is which of the following is a digital transmitter string gauge encoder thermistor and lvd as you know that there are two types of transmitter analog and digital from the given list you have to identify which are digital transmitters options are string gauge encoder thermistor and vdd when we are getting the analog type of output in sensor or transducer that sensor or transducer is called as analog transducer when you are getting the digital type of output then that transducer or sensor is called as digital transducer Yes. So answer for this question is B, which is correct. In case of an encoder, we are getting the output in the form of digital quantity, and therefore it is called as digital transducer. The remaining sensors or transducers are type of analog transducer. Okay. We will go for next question. Strain gauge, LVDT, thermistor are examples of dash dash. active sensor passive sensor analog sensors digital sensor strain gauge lvdt thermistor are the examples of what whether they are active passive analog or digital sensor Yes, I got the answer, which is analog, which is correct. In case of all these sensors which are mentioned here, the output is in the form of analog quantity, and therefore it is called as analog sensor. Now the next question is: LVDT windings are wound on. aluminium copper ferrite or tin sheets we know that in case of a lvdt we have one primary winding and two secondary winding and the question asked is whether those secondary windings are wound on aluminium material or copper or ferrite or tin sheets so what is the answer we are using one four or metal rod on which we are uh, putting the winding so whether they are wound on aluminium or copper or ferrite or steel sheet yes the answer is c which is correct we are using ferrite rod on which the windings are wound correct answer given by our student The next question is: What is the long form of LDR? Four options are given: lithium diode resistor, light diaphragm resistor, lithium disc resistor, light dependent resistor. What is the answer for question number thirty-two? Yes, the answer is B, which is correct. 
LDR is a type of optical sensor where the output input is light and based on light you will get the change in the output which is resistance and the long form of LDR is light dependent resistor based on the light value the resistance value will be changed so the option is correct the next question is what kind of LDR sensor whether it is passive or active the option is passive and active you have to guess whether LDR sensor is passive or active So answer for this question is A. LDR is a passive type of sensor. We have to connect the external power supply for the operation of LDR sensor and therefore it is called as passive sensor. The next question is related with temperature sensor LM35. The question is how many pins does LM35 have? Options are 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have already seen the concept of IC LM35, its construction, how it operates, what is the range of temperature for the pin. The question is very basic. How many pins does LM35 have? Please tell me the answer. Yes. Many students told that the answer is C, which is correct. There are three pins for the ICLM35. Can you tell me the names of the pins in the chat box? In the chat box, type which which are three pins of LM35. I want the names of pins. What are the pins or what are the names of pins? The answer 3 is correct. I want 3 names for 3 pins. Yes. Many students have typed that supply voltage, output voltage and ground, which is correct. The pins names are plus VCC, ground and output voltage. Correct. All answers are correct. Now we will move for next question. Which type of lens? is generally used in PIR sensor. Concave, convex, bifocal or Fresnel. In case of a PIR, that is passive infrared sensor, which is used to detect the motion. Whether we are using concave or convex or bifocal or Fresnel lens, what is the answer? The answer is D, which is correct. Fresnel lens we are using in case of a PIR sensor. Now this question we have already completed. The next question. Is PIR stands for? We have already discussed this question. That is, four options are given to you. In case of a PIR sensor, what is the long form of PIR? 
the answer is already given by you that is passive infrared right passive infrared is the noun form of pir sensor we have already discussed this question so now we will move to the next one again it is related with pir sensor the distance range of detection for the pir sensor is four options 5 to 10 cm 5 to 7 m up to 12 m and 5 to 12 cm for pir sensor when the motion is detected the range we should know what is the answer what is the value of range yes i got the answer c in the chat box which is correct up to 1 meter distance is allowed when we are detecting any human being or animal using pir sensor now the next question is what is the use of ultrasonic sensor as we have already discussed that is ultrasonic sensor we are using in sonar city and here the question is what is the use of ultrasonic sensor whether it is used for proximity detection or humidity detection or image processing or gps what is the answer what is the answer for question number 38 where we are using or for what purpose we are using ultrasonic sensor yes option a which is correct proximity detection for proximity detection purpose we are using ultrasonic sensor the next question is how many pins ultrasonic sensor has options are 1 2 3 in case of ultrasonic sensor how many pins are present can you guess the number of pins for ultrasonic sensor students are saying that two students are saying that the answer is d which is correct four pins are there for ultrasonic sensor the question number 40 is what kind of waves does the ultrasonic sensor work on whether they are sound waves or light waves heat waves or gas waves so which type of waves we are using in a what is the answer for this question
answer is A, which is very correct. As we have already discussed that ultrasonic sensor is used in sonar system, which is sound navigation and ranging. So we are using uh, sound waves in case of an ultrasonic sensor. The next question is, what is the maximum distance that ultrasonic sensor can detect an object? So here we are talking about ultrasonic sensor. What is the detection range of ultrasonic sensor? 100 cm, 20 cm, 9 cm or 200 cm. Some students are saying A or B. Okay, we will check the answer. The answer is D. In case of a ultrasonic sensor, the maximum distance that it can detect is 200 centimeters. Which is correct answer. Now the next question is A to D conversion is not needed in the smart sensor. So you have to state this sentence as true or false. So whether it is true or false. A to D conversion is not needed in the smart sensor. That is the statement. You have to tell whether that statement is true or false. Yes, the answer is false. False. So A to D conversion is needed in this smart sensor. That will be a correct statement. So answer is false, which is B. Now the next question is output of smart sensors will be analog, digital, analog and digital, none of the above. Output of sensor, smart sensor will be dash dash. That is the question. So you have to get the answer of this question. Question number 43. Yes, B is the correct answer. The output of smart sensor is digital in form. Next question is related with input of smart sensor. Input of smart sensor will be analog or digital, analog and digital and none of the above. So the answer for this question is A. The input of smart sensor is analog. Remember, the input of smart sensor is analog and output of smart sensor is digital. So both questions were related with smart sensor. Now we will move for next question. LDR is made up of Semiconductor material, insulator material, conductor type of material or none of the above. So what is the correct answer for this question? So we are talking about construction of LDR. Which material we are using in LDR? Yes. A 
is the answer given by many students, which is very correct. In case of LDR, we are using semiconductor material like cadmium sulfide, that is CDS, or CDSE, cadmium serenide, etc. The next question is Do LDR sensors have P N junction? Options are yes or no. The question asked is whether P N junction is present in case of a LDR sensor or not. What is the answer? Yes, I am getting the answer P which is correct. No. In case of a LDR sensor, we don't have PN junction. Right. The next question is long form of CCD is charged coupled device, charged capacitive device, charged change device. And none of the above. What is the long form of CC? We have seen this image sensor in unit number 2. That is CC. What is the long form? Yes. Answer I'm getting in chat box is A, which is correct. It is a charge coupled device. Long form of CCD is charge coupled device. Next is output of temperature sensor. It is in the form of dash dash, voltage, current, and both of the above. The question is regarding temperature sensor. Output of temperature sensor it is in the form of voltage or current or both. What is the answer? We know that in case of a temperature sensor, the input is temperature. So, what is the output? Yes, I am getting the answer as voltage. That is option A, which is correct. So remember this thing, in case of a temperature sensor, the input is temperature and output is voltage. Next question, storage of data is possible in smart sensor. State whether this statement is true or false. Whether this statement is true or false, that you have to tell me. Storage of data is possible in smart sensor. Tell me whether this statement is true or false. is correct, the answer given by you is correct, it is true. We can store the data in smart sensor. So this statement is true. Next question is output of sound sensor is in the form of voltage, current or both of the above. Output of sound sensor is in the form of voltage, current or both of the above. What is the answer? Yes. Voltage. 
voltage is the correct answer. In case of a sound sensor, the output is in the form of voltage, which is correct. So A answer is correct. In this revision session, we have discussed the multiple choice questions with their answers and explanations. We have discussed 50 questions on sensors, transducers and actuators. In the next revision session, we will discuss the questions based on operational amplifier. So, do we study for the same operational amplifier questions we will discuss in the next session. Thank you for attending this session.